Okay, looking at tools to rework these hammers. I want those indentations out, but I don't want to necessarily do it by sanding them or whatever. I can do it that way, but I do not want to because when you take off, like I use a block 400, what is this? 400 like 800 I think <clears throat> I can sand that with this but I'm removing material to make it sound harder so I'm going to try other things let's go look at the tools um, probably your principal tool is a needling tool just needles and you poke it into the uh, you poke it into into here and you do the sides here and you come up here like this, but you don't do that, okay? And then this is an iron, and that will cool it in the dish. It's a wet thing, because you get too hot and you'll discolor these. This is hammer softener used overnight. This is my method of last resort with old pianos. These are all from Howard Piano Industries. And then I have my little baby hammer where I can tap it if I need to. And uh, it's starting to stink. And you got to make sure that this doesn't get too hot, so you want to cool it down a little bit. So my plan is to need uh, to iron these hammers to get as much of the um, the lines out as I can from the strings. And again, they just don't hit a string right when they have the um, the lines in them because you don't get a clean whack. On the strings. So uh, I'm coming here and uh, but you got to be careful. Um, don't get this too hot. So I'll start by cooling it. Hear it? Hiss, hiss, hiss. Now I can come over here and you always have a porcelain dish to hold it in. I'll bring this board around to here. And one more cooling. Okay. And I come here. There. Got rid of it. Not bad. But I can see that these things are not centered. They're, they're hitting those strings. Not at the center. So it's good to know. Good to know. That's not what this tool is made for, by the way. This tool is made to um, squish down the, uh, the felt. But actually, if you think of it comparatively, if I'm bringing it down, hear the hiss? It's too hot. I'll bring it to here. Not such a bad job, huh? You can do this pretty quick. This will make a big difference in the strike sound. It's a start to my technique. But again, I haven't removed any material, but I'm getting rid of a lot of the problems. That we have. Now, this takes a lot of time. Be careful. If this touches your finger, it will definitely burn you. How do I know that? Yeah, I know how I know that. Just got burned. Gives it a little bit of moisture too. It's like ironing a shirt. Oh, this one's messed up. But I can maybe bring it back a little bit. Try to save it. Okay. It's also important that the hammers hit string smack in the middle if you can of whatever whether it's a single one or a three thin ones or whatever you can say this this it you can see it is kind of working it's giving me a little bit more flush surface this means I won't have to start carving away too much 
on these. This one is not repairing too well. Some of them do, some of them don't. But if I'm going to have a problem, I'd rather have a problem with that one than with the other ones. Okay, that's that. Now, uh, come in and let's get started. Not a bad first move. I can see that these guys are moving slow. These hammers, they need to be. How to do that? Get these suckers moving a little easier. Trying to come in. It won't be perfect. I'm just trying to get some progress towards better tone tonight because this thing sounds like a metallic engine. I don't mind. I'm just. It's all part of the process. I would rather have a temperature controlled unit, but then it wouldn't steam. And I'm counting on the steam to help me do this job right now. So I'm really not going to complain about You do want to do them flat, right? You don't want to. You want to stay with whatever the angle is in the facing. You know, if it's you don't want to do that, you want to come in and do it like this. So my point is, it compresses the felt. Okay, well, if it's got a dimple in it, and I compress the felt, I'm relatively making the the dimple in the. Now that repaired pretty good, didn't it? See, some of them I do pretty good. See, these are thinner strings now. They, it didn't dig in as deep. Mm -hmm. Come here. You see a little bit of water gut on there. I don't mind that. Don't forget, these are felt. Merino wool felt. So, you can do stuff like this. Iron them like the cloth. You have to buy this tool. This is not something. And I would far prefer to have this one than the one that you have to use a torch with. This is electric. The other ones, you have to heat them up. That might have been a good thing in 18-something or other, but not right now. I'm almost halfway done. That's not bad, huh? Pretty quick. And uh, What I like about this work the most is that we're bringing a period instrument back. And I think that's super exciting. This is certainly no business for me. It is for other people, but for me it's a, something I like to do to keep, to keep things alive. Now this thing's been sitting for 15 years, so I'll play it a while before I start going nuts on the total rebuild. You know, I mean, got to give it a chance to kind of Get its little legs under it again and things to start moving. And see how nicely that one's coming out? Pretty good. Some of them it works pretty good. Do that. I might dare to do two before I cool it. Alright, we come here. You can do two at once if you want. I mean, I'm never in any rush on this. I take my time. Try to be as gentle with this machine as I can. Of course, a piano is a machine made of wood of felt and a little bit of metal. Basically the same uh, machine now as it was. These hammers were replaced, I'm guessing, 35 years ago, right around there. I can tell from the look of them, these are not original hammers, but they are original hammer shanks. We're going to do another repair tonight, too, if I get a chance, which is to uh, replace a couple of knuckles and lubricate this whole piano. You don't use motorcycle lubricants or oils. You use other things that are made specifically for this. Come here. I know I hit those guys, but I'll hit them again. One, two, three, four. 
five, six. Now these high strings, they flatten out quite a bit, but you cannot start grinding on these. These small ones are not thick enough to be removing the felt at the end. You'd be down to wood real quick. I'm gonna change my angle for you here. And come up here. As we do these coming in, pull down over to here. And see, see it's pretty deep. Pretty deep. I'm pressing like an ironing board now. Four of these. One, two, three, four. Pull it. Got water in there. Oh dear. Chopped through here. Somebody cut them too thin. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, see, they're down to the wood. Worn out. No sense in even playing around with that at all. I don't play those notes too much anyway. I don't know that I'm too worried about mm. that. Okay, I got some problems here with this one. Let's see what my problem is. I can take this out and reshape it pretty quick with a uh, pair of pliers. Let me get that. Hmm. I'm going to shut this down and restart it.